Hey, we're going to be doing Project Euler number 14 today, the longest collapse sequence. And the following iterative sequence is defined for the set of positive integers, uh, n to n divided by 2, which you're going to divide by 2 if it's even, but if n is odd, you're going to multiply n by 3 and add 1 to it. So using the rule above, starting with 13, we generate the following sequence. So 13 is an odd number, so 3 times 13 plus 1 is 40. Divided by 2 is 20, divided by 2 is 10, divided by 2 is 5, 5 is odd, so 3 times 5, 15 plus 1 is 16, and then divided by 2 three times, and, and it ends at 1. So it can be seen that this sequence, starting at 13, finishing at 1, contains 10 terms, and it does, including the endpoints. Although it has not been proven yet, it's a Collatz problem, it is thought that all starting numbers finish at 1. So which starting number under 1 million produces the longest chain? Of, of numbers. The longest, the greatest number of terms is another word for that, it might be easier. Uh, once the chain starts, the terms are allowed to go above 1 million. The individual term can go above a million, but the starting number for the sequence must be under 1 million. Uh, we're gonna do this and see. This is the answer, but I'll show you how to get to it. As always, if you know what you're doing and you're worth anything, um, you probably don't need to print a screen, but if you're like me, you need to, you know, Make sure you have the right answer and all, and you need a way of getting it not telepathically, so we use the I.O. header to print our answers. But you don't need anything else, no fancy square roots or anything in this. This this problem's pretty simple. Uh, if you just want to brute force it, which is what I'm going to do because I'm lazy. <laughs> if you wanted to do it a better way, well, you can figure that out on your own, right? But <laughs> this is just a very simple example I'm going to be doing. Basically just using the two rules it's set. Um, for variables, in order to hold numbers up to or greater than a million, I'm going to be using a long. We're just going to call it start number for the starting number, and I'm going to have an answer for a final answer. Um, the intermediate terms and the sequences for each starting number can go a bit above a, a million. Um, and when I was testing this, it would freeze up because it ran out of space, and it didn't like that. I didn't have error handling because for the purposes of these, I'm lazy. <laughs> so a long, long suffices, though, for the, the intermediate sequence numbers. Um, I'm going to call it number. I guess sequence number might be better, but I'm just calling it number for now. Um, I'm going to have an int for the number of terms, because the number of terms in a sequence really doesn't go that much. But this is how we're going to find the longest chain of numbers. It'll be the highest number of terms for a given starting number. And then I'm going to have save terms, which is just saving the number of terms um, each time it's greater what that will be for. So we're just going to have a simple for loop. Start our start number at 2 because we don't start at 1 for any of these. It'll start at least at 2 to be divided by 2 and go to 1. It'll be less than a million. So six zeros. And we'll increment it every time. So we're going to start our number of terms at 1 because it'll at least include 1. Uh, we're going to set our number at the moment equal to our starting number, and this number will basically be the the intermediate number as it goes through a sequence, is what I'm using that uh, just number variable for. So it'll be like 13 if it's at 13, and then the number will be going to 40, and then 20, and then 10. The starting number will remain at 13, but we do need at least something else to go through the sequence itself. So I'm going to use this number to go through the sequence, and for every number, it computes until it gets to, and including one, we're going to add to the number of terms. And we're going to have a while loop. We're just going to have a simple while and an if pretty much for each one of these. But while it's greater than one, because for these collat sequences it can't be less than one. You could do not equals one as well. I just did greater because it takes up one less character because I'm weird. And while we're not at the end of the, the collat sequence, while it's greater than one, we're going to have our two little checks there if it's even or if it's odd. So if the number's even, we can keep dividing it by 2. So I'm going to do the initial check. If number modulus 2 is 0, so the number is even, we're going to keep dividing it by 2 until it's not even anymore. And in C and in the compiler I'm using at the flag set, it does not... Uh, 1 is not counted as an even number, so it will exit this inner while loop if it equals 1, so that's why I'm not needing another check there. But while it is evenly divisible, while the number is even, we're going to divide it by 2, and we're going to add to the number of terms. We'll just do plus plus. The number of terms gets reset on every loop iteration for each starting number, so we're just adding them up in the middle, and then we'll save it if it's greater. 
Um, but if it's not even, then it's odd. So I'm just gonna do another check here because one will exit the inner while loop, but I don't want to include it if it is one and at the end of the collat sequence for a current starting number. So if it is one at this point, um, we're just gonna go to the next one. But if it's not one, then it's an odd number because we just went through all the, the even numbers. So I'm gonna make the number equal to three n plus one, or I'll just do uh, number times three plus one, that should do. And we'll add to the number of terms. That's pretty much all we need to do for a given starting number. So if the current number of terms is greater than our saved number of terms at this point, I'm just using that to get the answer, uh, then we're gonna make it the saved number of terms. So this will save the current highest or longest chain of numbers for a given starting number. Just set it equal to it. If it's greater than, then it'll be set equal. And we'll have our current answer at this point as well, which will be reset every time we get a longer collapse sequenced uh, starting number. Um, but that's all we need to do. Really simple if you just want to brute force it, so, which I am fine with. I like simple things. That's why this is in C, so I can understand it more. And hopefully you can too. So I'm gonna put a longest chain. Well, we wanna find the number with the longest chain, so I'll just put, yeah, I'll just put longest chain. That'll work. And it is an integer, and we'll give the starting number as well. At this point, our answer, this would be save terms and our answer. and return zero so compiler doesn't yell at me. So that should be all we need, unless I made a typo or something, which I might have. Uh, we'll find out here shortly. Okay, it compiled, just took a minute there. Uh, it runs really fast, so there you go. The longest chain is 525 terms for the starting number 837,799, which you can see is the answer, 837799. So yeah, that one was a pretty simple problem all in all. Hopefully it was easy enough to understand. If you want to do it um, in a more optimized way, you could probably um, have a set array or use like a map or a dictionary or something in a language that isn't C <laughs> and have all the numbers here and compute the terms, such as if you have an even number, and then you already pretty much know up to a given number within a sequence for that starting number that uh, you know the number of terms. Like if you start at 13, 13 has 10 terms. If you have 26, 26 divided by two is 13. So you know you're just adding one more term there. You could do something with that. Um, but I'm not gonna do that because I'm lazy. <laughs> uh, but that's all it is for number thir number 14, longest call that sequence. Uh, the next one will be number 15, which is lattice paths. And it might start getting more interesting. We'll see. Probably a little bit harder than this one, but yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one.